My video for March 27th, 2018 is entitled, The Deep State is a Criminal Enterprise. Over the years, I have had friends and relatives buy into the notion that the U.S. Democratic Party is the party of the people. <laughs> Many still think that way. Actually, both major parties in the U.S. have long been infiltrated by liars and thieves. Party is irrelevant to these charlatans who have been working behind the scenes for multiple generations. As more and more people awaken to the sad truth that our apparent leaders sold out a long time ago to those who had a single goal, total control of the masses for their own ends. Those ends are never beneficial for the majority of humans. Yes, I do think they are demons, but that word to many has religious connotations. Therefore, criminal is a more acceptable word to consider. A criminal is one who, using and propagating falsehoods, steals wealth and substance from others. There are many who have become entrapped in this game of control. The organized crime syndicate is often referred to as the deep state. They make up the hidden hand behind all that is wrong with the world. Have enough of us awakened yet to shift the downward trend and come together to uplift all of humanity? I hope so. Yes, I, I've been contemplating a lot uh, as I interact with friends and relatives and think back over the course of my life, some of the relatives that, I mean, I'm thinking of a particular individual who is no longer on this planet uh, in a physical form anyway, uh, who s made the statement once, and again, it's decades ago, uh, I was born a Democrat and I'll die a Democrat. <laughs> And uh, that was his thinking, even though he married into my family. Uh, and uh, my family was born Republicans, and some of them will die Republicans. <laughs> and I'm talking about not my brothers and sisters family, but the, but the one from which we sprang. <laughs> and uh, many people are diehards in the idea that they take on labels and they think that those labels have to stay with them for the rest of their lives and somehow they're compromising their integrity if they if they change if they're not allowed to think outside that box that was created for them probably they didn't create it themselves it was something they were born into and indoctrinated into and uh, you might say that a religion is the same thing, not just politics, but I was born a Baptist and I'll die a Baptist. I was born uh, a Muslim and I'll die a Muslim. I, you know, we've got to get outside of the box and start thinking for ourselves as individuals and recognizing that what we are involved in in the world at large is a control grid and it's not run by those who have beneficial ideologies that want to uplift all of us. On the contrary, the, the goal and aim of these charlatans is to suppress and to not just suppress and keep us down, but to keep us poor and always needing, to keep us sick and always wanting to, to get better, but always subverting the ability for us to become wealthy unless we compromise our integrity and sell out to their agenda, they being these demonic charlatans or uh, criminals that uh, have long been running the world for, again, for their own benefit, for their own uh, self-aggrandizement because they are ego driven and there's nothing wrong with the ego but there is something wrong with it when it gets out of control when you recognize that your rights end where the next egos individuals rights begin you can't 
you are in violation of a, of a moral and spiritual law when you violate the free will of another, especially when they don't want you to. And that's why rape and murder and theft and things like that are, are codes that are spiritual codes that are self-obvious <laughs> to those that, that have any concept of spiritual truth or of morality for that, for that matter. And yet, if we look at the world, what do our politicians do besides lie to us 90 some percent of the time, probably 95 to 99 percent of the time at least. Very rarely do they deal with truthfulness because that's outside the parameter of their control system. And they realize that if they told the truth, humanity would be uh, liberated and uplifted and it would put them on a lower status in their minds actually it doesn't but in their minds it would it would demote them from being rulers we don't need rulers we need liberators and i would like to think of myself as someone who is uh, proposing liberation of humanity as a goal that has positive and meaningful, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? I don't even know what word I'm looking for, but it's positive and meaningful for all of us. And the elite, they don't think in terms of all of us. That's why they put on the Georgia Guidestones to reduce the world's population to a manageable half billion people. And that's why they create uh, uh, robots and, and uh, other technologies that decrease our ability to think outside the boxes that keep us enslaved. When is it going to happen that we wake up? Now, some are saying that the RV, the currency revaluation that shifts everything, is in the process of happening right now. In fact, uh, you know, the this is the video for the 27th, and I believe uh, they say by the 27th, it's supposed to happen. Now, I mean, I, I, but I've gotten reports over the uh, last year and a half plus that it's imminent <laughs> all the time. It's always imminent, but never occurs. Uh, and Trump is supposed to be draining the swamp. Uh, Obama before him was supposed to be bringing change that we can believe in. Politicians are entrapped in the system the same as most of us as humans are. And even if they have good intentions, they're not able to carry them out as long as the demonic charlatans, as long as the criminals are in control of this planet. And that's a shift that has to take place at some point or otherwise, Earth will once again be destroyed. And we will once again be diminished uh, in our capacity to have fulfilling lives and, and meaningful existence. We have the capability, but only if we get outside the box and recognize the criminal apparatus that has been installed, both in religion and politics, and especially the monetary system, and, and, you know, it's funny because last night uh, I, I attended a group that uh, several people were saying, you know, they were sh showing codes that were given that you could increase wealth. And people, oh, I want money. I want money. These are metaphysicians thinking that money is the answer. Money's not the answer. It's the control system. When are we going to realize that pretty much everything in our system of human existence is part of a control grid that is not beneficial to us as human beings. We need to get to that place and I'm hoping and praying that our awakening is in the process of occurring right now and I hope it accelerates. Thank you for listening and namaste.